for the Lakota people, buffalo, uh, we call pte, bison, it provided us our shelter, our food, our weapons, our toys. We played with the toe bones that we call bone horses. We made the ribs into sleds. So it provided us with everything. And it's also a spiritual connection. When our sacred pipe, which is our most precious and sacred relic, was brought to us, it was a woman who, as she was leaving, became a buffalo, and then a, a buffalo calf, and then a white buffalo calf. And so we have a very strong relationship with the buffalo, the bison, and it provides us spiritually, it provides for us materially, and it provides for us culturally and socially. So it's impossible to totally explain how important the buffalo is to us, but the buffalo to us is life. When we talk about the bare basic food and nutritional content of the buffalo, I think that to have our health was so important that it helped us continue as a nation. And that's where the basic principle of that is so important that we lost that and now we're trying to regain that. And if we can get the health of our people back, we will become a strong nation again. They're very important now, but I say tomorrow and the next day they're going to be even more important to me. Buffalo means to me that connection to the Creator. We have ceremonies, we have songs, we have a whole way of life that surrounds that buffalo. And today, we, it's not working and we need the buffalo to help us in the future. It keeps our people strong and right now the diet we're under, the people are sick and many are weak. That's why the, if we can bring back the buffalo that will help with the sickness. One of my Lakota names is uh, Pitehokshimi, the buffalo child. And so, buffalo are very important to me because they give us life. They help everybody. They carry the burden of the people. When you eat their meat, it's medicine. It's healing because they eat medicine. The plants that they eat are medicinal. They can bring back streams when they run. In certain places, they'll bring the water back. They don't wipe out the vegetation. Cows, when they eat, they pull the roots out. So they kill the plants. Buffalo, they won't do that. They eat the tops off so the plants can grow back. It's not really something small. <laughs> it's really big. And, and I think buffalo are important. Not just for Indian people, they're an important part of this, this continent um, of life here. Because they if the buffalo live, everything else will live.